Hi folks, uh, this is the first of two videos on scales. In this one, I'm just going to talk about the fingering, so we're only going to deal with C major. In the second one, I'll go through how to remember which uh, black keys go where. So the main thing to remember are the landmarks that we use. We The landmarks, if you think to yourself, threes, one, two, two, one, threes. That's to go up, and if you go up and back, threes, one, two, two, one, threes, one, two, two, one, threes. If you just pause at each of those moments and then think through what happens next, you'll never mess it up like this. So the first threes, we start, you know, just like thumb on C, pinky on C, sort of standard position. And we're gonna play up till when both third fingers play together. And then I think one, two, two, one. Left hand is ready to play two, one, right? The right hand has to turn under and it's going to play 1-2. Two. There's my 1-2-2-1. Two, two, one. And then 3s is next. Right hand is ready to play 3s. Left hand is going to have to cross over to play 3s. And then left hand will immediately set up one finger per key after that. 3s up and back. 1-2-2-1. One, two, two, one. So right hand is ready with the 2-1. Left hand needs to cross under to play 2-1. And then 3s to finish it out. Left hand is ready with the third, third, third finger there. Right hand needs to cross over to play 3s. And you can just play to the bottom at that point. Let me show you that one more time. Up to the 3s. 1-2-2-1. Two, two, one. 3s up and back. 1-2-2-1. Two, two, one. And then threes to finish it out. Uh, so I would practice that way, pausing on each landmark, threes, one, two, two, one, threes, and thinking about the next landmark, thinking about what you're going to do next. Um, that's it for this one.